I'll take my I'll take me saying fudge and edit it over you saying <laughs> that word. <laughs> well, but don't what, worry, what because the... in Scotland that's not considered offensive, so we're fine in Scotland. <laughs> exactly. So yes, that would be what the cats would say because it'd be, you know. Mm. Yeah, so it was a really good episode, hey? I thought so. That was uh, that has to be, as far as humor goes and just feeling overall satisfied, that has to be my favorite episode from the season so far. But I, I still reckon the confidential outshone the entire episode. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. I, I think... So- Thought what I meant? <laughs> yes, yes. The confidential etch on the entire episode. They should just have made it into a confidential. It would have made the episode absolutely perfect. <laughs> so, yes. For those of you in Aussie land and New Zealand. Well, no, not New Zealand because New Zealand's getting closing time this week. Yeah, because, you know, huh? You all need to come out here so then you don't get Doctor Who a week later. Na na. <laughs> So, yeah, the episode coming up for you is The Wedding of River Song. Is that what they called it? Yes, they did. (laughs) Sorry, but that's a really crap name. Oh, oh, just wait. See, there has been some debate going on uh, ever since the episode has aired over whether it is... Because, like... Whenever I watch it, a, a couple of people will call me and ask me um, what the, what I thought of it. And it's one of those things of, I can't tell you if it's good or if it's bad. In my opinion, it was bad. But it's so bad that you have to see it for yourself. Mm. See, I'm expecting I, that it will sort of, it'll go full circle, but there'll be inconsistencies. That's what I'm expecting. That's an understatement, actually. Um, It's just... Okay, the synopsis of it is, and this isn't a spoiler, this is something you can pick up online. Um, Time has gone wibbly-wobbly. Everything is happening at once, including um, Holy Roman Emperor uh, Winston Churchill. Mm. I mean, there were parts in it that were hysterical, like that part and... There's a quote in it that just had me rolling. It was amazing. And then as it goes on, it's like, ugh. And then at the end, it's like, ugh. Mm. See, I, I sort of, I was I was happy at myself at the end of the last episode because I'm like, oh, oh, I picked up that, and I picked up that, and I picked up that. Oh, cool. Because, you know, you, you're sort of, you're getting the idea that they're just going to bring it around to full circle. Because, you know, there was the blue envelopes and there was the the cowboy hat and all that. Yeah. So, you know. I have to say, as far as a season finale goes, I am absolutely, ridiculously disappointed in Stephen Moffat. And I know that it doesn't matter what I think because, well, Stephen Moffat has a bad habit of ignoring his fans anyway. Um, he likes to point out the obvious. I'll tell you that much. Um, he, he, I think it is his absolute goal to make every woman character an absolute wimpy, whiny little beep, fudge sickle. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) That's what we'll say from now on. Every cuss word will be replaced with fudge sickle. All right. Anyway. But yeah, he likes to make women that start off being incredibly strong and tears them down until they are weak and totally dependent. Then he likes to, I think it is his honest goal to just disappoint all of his fans. Mm -hmm. Well, I suppose, you know, you can't please everyone. So, hey, if you just try and aim to piss everyone off, then, you know, (laughs) woohoo. Well, and the funny thing is, you know, you aim to piss everyone off and there's going to be a whole bunch of people that like it, so, but I, I didn't like it. I, I mean, like I said, there were some parts of it that were funny, some parts of it that were like, whoa, and, but it, was it wasn't necessary. Kind of meh, huh? Yeah, definitely, but like I said, it's so meh, you have to see it for yourself. It, it's, with the, what was it, Night Terrors, 
I believe it was. The one that I didn't get through. Yeah, one of those I said that it was really bad and you could miss it. Mm -hmm. This one is bad, but I wouldn't recommend missing it just because it is so bad. It's so bad, it's good, hey? Not even that. I mean, it's... I can't exactly pinpoint it, not just because of spoilers, but just because when I sit there and I rethink it, it's mm, it's frustrating. It's ridiculously frustrating. And honestly, if Stephen Moffat is going to keep going on the path that he's going, he is going to lose so many fans because he is treading into a very dangerous territory right now. Mm. Well, I did have my little one saying to me, you know, because she's heard all the, you know, he dies, blah, blah, blah. And even she's picked up on the, you know, this is pretty much the last one. There really can't be another one. Um, She's going, well, does that mean that there won't be any more Doctor Who? Does that mean that there'll be no more Matt Smith? You know, she's asking a lot of questions and I'm sitting there going, I don't freaking know. We'll just have to watch and find out. Yes, and, you will. And, and then, I mean, I guess as far as that goes, they did a really good job of summing it up. But it's just, I wish they could have done it. And I mean, he had so much potential to turn that around and make it absolutely spectacular. And instead, he just ruined it. Mm. It's to the point now... And I hate to say this. I really do. I, reg- I I hate saying this. But it is to the point now that it doesn't need to be called Doctor Who anymore. It mm. needs to be called something else because it has gotten so far away from the classic Doctor Who and even the 2005 to 2010. Mm. It needs to be called something else. Doctor Who, just need- it needed to have ended with Matt Smith's uh, first one and called it quits and just moved on to something else. Well, my only other thought is maybe they're going to move Doctor Who over to Doctor Who's daughter, wasn't it? Jenny? Mm. Maybe they're just going to kill off Doctor Who and have Jenny. Mm. Mm. Doubtful, considering that's Georgia Moffat and um, sorry, Janie. Get over it. Um, <laughs> she hates it when I bring up Georgia Moffat, but um, it's Georgia Moffat, and she is uh, and she is currently being a mother to David Tennant's child. So, <gasps> serious? You didn't know? I don't read all the crap. Yeah, they um they got engaged last New Year's. Like over Christmas, they got engaged, and then Ooh. suddenly, like a month later. Like, it hit all over. Georgia Moffat's pregnant with David Tennant's baby. <laughs> I was Ooh, like, Doctor really? Who's having ew with his daughter. That's just bad. <laughs> no, and you know what's really funny? What? Georgia Moffat is Peter Davison's uh, daughter, which means she is the actual Doctor's daughter. <laughs> and you know what's even better? What? David Tennant has a little girl now. She had a little girl. So the doctor's daughter had a doctor's daughter. Ooh. Is, if, you, if you really, really want to get into wibbly-wobbly timey-wimey, just try and figure that one out. No, I don't oh, Robin's worry. calling. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're recording. Go away. Go away, Robin. I should have put it on an embarrassing ringtone. Ah! <laughs> Okay, okay. I want to I want to talk about the new TV show, well, not so much a new TV show, but the second season of a TV show that I really really enjoy here in Australia. It's called The One. No, no, no. And it is The Search for Australia's Most Gifted Psychic. Wow. Mm. So, yes, um I've made notes, but unfortunately I can't read them. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe I need the help of one of these psychics to figure out what the flaming heck I just wrote. 